three generative grammars. Lecture number 15. Three generative grammars. Review of lecture 14. Generative grammar is set of rules which, operating upon a finite vocabulary of units, generates a set of, finite or infinite, strings, which is well formed in the language that is characterized by the grammar. The word generate does not relate to any process of sentence production. Review of Lecture 14 Grammar of a particular language is a system of rules and principles that link sounds and meaning. Human beings are endowed with a number of special faculties, mind. Chomsky says that there are certain phonological, syntactic and semantic units that are universal. Review of Lecture 14 Human beings are independent of any external stimuli. All human languages are similar in structure. All human languages make reference to the properties and objects of the physical world. Generative grammars. Noam Chomsky demonstrated that some kinds of generative grammars are intrinsically more powerful than others. He proved that finite state grammars are less powerful than phrase structure grammars and Phrase structure grammars are less powerful than transformational grammars. Generative grammars. Three models of generative grammars finite state grammar if a grammar is to consist of a finite set of rules operating upon a finite vocabulary and is to be capable of generating an infinite set of sentences, it means that some of the rules must be applicable more than once in generating the same sentences. Generative grammars. The rules and structures they generate are called recursive. The simplest grammars capable of generating infinite set of sentences by means of finite number of recursive rules operating upon finite vocabulary are called finite state grammars. Generative grammars. Sentences are made slash generated by means of choices made from left to right. Every different sequence of words, well formed, is a different sentence. Generative grammars transformational and phrase structure grammar. Transformational generative grammar, TGG, consists of not only transformational rules but includes a set of phrase structure rules as well. Transformational rules depend upon the previous application of the phrase structure rules. Generative grammars. Transformational rules of the effect not only of converting one string of elements into another, but in principle, of changing the associated phrase marker. They are also formally more heterogeneous and more complex than phrase structure rules. Generative grammars. Chomsky states that two properties of language must be taken into account for searching the right generative grammar. A. Recursiveness. B. Constituent. Structure. Both are present in phrase structure grammar. Generative grammars. Function of PS grammar, to generate strings of symbols and to assign to each a labeled bracketing. This labeled bracketing is called phrase markers. On, the, wooden table. PPP on, NP, art there, N, a wooden, N table. Generative grammars. Chomsky followed a deductive approach in giving theoretical account of grammar. Competence slash performance. The competence of a native speaker enables a speaker to produce an infinite number of sentences from a finite set. The sentences generated are grammatical and meaningful equally. Generative grammars structuralists focus on form. TG talks about form and meaning both. Form is important in generation of sentences. Language is productive. Complex and arbitrary. TG grammar is both transformational and generative. Generative grammar's role of transformational grammar. Analyzes the sentences. Divides them into parts. Demonstrates function of various parts. Rearranges them. Shows interrelatedness between sentences. It is the most powerful among the three types. Generative grammars. TGG shows that only a meaningful form is not important but meaning is also important. It also shows how sentences are related to one another in a sentence. TGG takes each part of sentence and talks about its role. 
It is different from structural grammar. Generative grammars. TG is not a mathematical grammar. The processes it describes are not mathematical processes and the symbols it describes are not used with a mathematical meaning. Chomsky's grammar is a generative grammar of the transformational type. Generative grammars. He means that among the rules are those for transforming one type of sentences into another, affirmative into negative, simple into compound or complex, and so forth. Generative grammars. TG consists of two levels of representations of the structure of sentences which includes an underlying more abstract form, termed deep structure, and the actual form of the sentence produced called surface structure. Surface structures are derived from deep structures by a series of transformations. Generative grammars. Deep structure, an abstract representation of a sentence. It can be represented in the form of a hierarchical tree diagram, or phrase structure tree, depicting the abstract grammatical relationship between the words and phrases within a sentence. Surface structure, version of a sentence that can be heard or spoken. Generative grammars example, the dog bit the cat, deep structure. The cat was bitten by the dog. Surface structure. Its system of formal rules specifying how deep structures are to be transformed into surface structures. Generative grammars. The rules in TG do not tell us how to produce language. They tell us the order in which to put words and phrases. TGG allows us to generate an infinite number of sentences via transformations. Grammatical transformations are the rules relating deep and surface structures. Summary. Finite state grammars are less powerful than phrase structure grammars and phrase structure grammars are less powerful than transformational grammars. Finite state grammars. A finite set of rules operates upon a finite vocabulary and is capable of generating an infinite set of sentences. Summary. Function of PS grammar, to generate strings of symbols and to assign to each a labeled bracketing. TG talks about form and meaning both. It analyzes the sentences, divides them into parts, demonstrates function of various parts, and rearranges them.